morning. Welcome to news. I'm Nimisha. Let's get to the top five headlines for today. Basuri Swara, daughter of Sushma Swaraj, immerses her mother's ashes. Wing Commander Abhinandan Varthaman to be awarded with Veer Chakar. US warns Pakistan as to show demonstrable action against terrorist groups. Massive blow for Congress, Karan Singh backs abrogation of Article 370. Situation remains grim in Karnataka, around 2.5 lakh people evacuated. Let's get to know them in detail. Basuri Swara, the daughter of late Sushma Swaraj, immersed her mother's ashes in Ganga River in Uttar Pradesh. In a video, Basuri is seen with her father Kaushal Swaraj immersing the ashes in Harpur. On Wednesday, the last rites of former external affairs minister were held at Daunanand Crematorium on Lodi Road. The veteran BJP leader passed away on July 6 following a heart attack. The mortal remains of Sushma Swaraj were covered. Cognizant uh, uh, to flames in Lodi uh, Crematorium in New Delhi on Wednesday. Her last rites were performed by her daughter Basuri, political leaders across party lines, as well as people on the social media expressed shock and grief at her sudden death. PM Modi turned emotional as he paid homage to Ms. Swaraj, easily one of India's most admired political leaders. Getting to the next news now, where a national hero wing commander Abhinandan Vartaman will be awarded with the top military honour. He will be awarded with Veer Chakra for gallantry according to top officials in the government. Along with Abhinandan, pilots of the five uh, Mirage uh, 2000 fighter jets who had uh, dropped bombs on JEM, Jaish e Mohammed terror launch pad in Balakot area are also likely to be decorated with Vayu Sena medal. Wing Commander Abhinandan Vartaman, who uh, had shot down a Pakistani F-16 near the line of control, LOC in February, resulting in his capture and subsequent release by Islamabad. Abhinandan had strayed into Pakistan territory after shooting down F-16 during a dog fight that had taken place on Gen uh, February 27. His own aircraft, a MiG-21 Bison, had been hit by a missile, forcing him to eject from fighter jet before it crash-landed in Pakistan. Moving on to the next news, where the Washington have asked Pakistan to refrain from any retaliatory aggression against India and urged them to take demonstrable action against terrorist groups within, within its territory. Pakistan yesterday evening expelled Indian High Commissioner Ajay Bisaria and downgraded diplomatic ties with India. Pakistan called New, India, New Delhi's unliteral and illegal. And uh, it's a move to revoke the special status of Jammu and Kashmir. Parliament on Tuesday approved a resolution abrogating special status to Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370 of the Constitution and a bill for splitting the state of uh, in the two union territories, Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh. India maintains that Kashmir issue is strictly internal matter. Moving on, uh, Karan Singh, who is a veteran uh, Congress leader and the son of the last ruler of the erstwhile Kingdom of Kashmir, Hari Singh, has welcomed the Narendra Modi government to make uh, Ladakh a union territory. Karan Singh also said he, doesn't, uh, he does not agree with the blanket condemnation of uh, the recent developments uh, surrounding Jammu and Kashmir. Karan Singh uh, did, not, uh, did not directly address the revocation of Article 370 but said that it is, an important, uh, it is important for political dialogue in Jammu and Kashmir to continue and this is unfair to dismiss two main regional parties as an, being anti-national. Getting to the next news now, where heavy rains battered large swathes on the country on Wednesday and the situation remained grim in flood-hit parts of Karnataka and Maharashtra, where 2.5 lakh people have been evacuated, while several rivers were in spate in Andhra Pradesh. Around 16 deaths have been reported so far, heavy downpour triggered by a deep depression which crossed Odisha district, uh, Odisha coast, battered several parts of the state, creating a flood like situation and disrupting train services in some areas in southern region. Flood gates were open in the dams in Maharashtra and barricades and reservoirs in Karnataka where roads and rail rings remain hit by incessant monsoon rains. Highways in the north state or north of the state including NH4 were flooded and parts of it could not be used for traffic at all. These were the top five headlines for today. Stay connected with news for more updates. Like, share and subscribe our channel in TV. Also download the news app from Google Play Store and share your news with us.